Resource Management Reform Bill Committee Stage Continued. I declare the House and Committee for further consideration of the Resource Management Reform Bill. Mr. Speaker. Mr. Chairman. Members, the House and Committee for further consideration of the Resource Management Reform Bill. When the Committee was last considering this bill, we were debating Part 1. Phil Twyford had the call and he has 1 minute 24 seconds remaining. 1 minute 24 seconds. This is debate on clauses 3 to 121 and schedules 1 and 2. Thank you. Uh, call Phil Twyford. Mr. Ch Mr Speaker, thank you. Um, as, I, uh, as I was saying before, I was so rudely interrupted by the passage of time. We were discussing, uh, sir, in part one of uh, this resource management reform bill, what this national government is doing on the question of tree protection in Auckland. And um, I, I want to use the uh, remaining time, sir, to just to underline the point that Labor colleagues have made, that uh, National is taking an axe to provisions in the local government law that give councils, where this is an issue, particularly in Auckland, on the North Shore, where this uh, treasure of a, a coastal fringe of Pahutukawa Forest, and also over in West Auckland and the, and the Waitakere Ranges, where David, David Cunliffe and I represent the interests of West Auckland. Re and West Aucklanders want to see the urban forest protected and retained, and there are very good reasons for that. Uh, Mr Chairman, and submitters like the Tree Council and the Environmental Defence Society came along to the Select Committee and pointed out that it's not only the intrinsic amenity value of trees, the beauty uh, that, that they contribute to people's lives uh, in neighbourhoods like Titarangi, but also, sir, they play an important uh, uh, protective role in very steep country, like the Waitakere Ranges, that has exceedingly high rainfall. Felling one tree, Mr Chairman, felling... I call the Honourable Member Phil Twyford. Just getting warmed up, Mr Chairman. I, I Thank you. I can see that, Mr Twyford. Thank you, Mr Chairman. Felling one tree in the Waitakere Ranges can have uh, a knock-on effect, sir, that can affect the uh, property, adja adjacent properties, because the roots of those trees play a very important anti-erosion uh, role, sir. They keep the, uh, the land from uh, falling down into the uh, valleys and the gullies because the landscape is quite unstable, the rainfall is very high. It is not, Mr Mallard, a good way of making football fields. This is a very serious issue for the people of West Auckland who want to see the urban forest and in fact the Waitakere Ranges uh, and the uh, eastern coastal fringe Pahutukawa forests protected for future generations. And unfortunately what the national government is doing uh, with the provisions uh, in part one of the RMA reform bill is that they're imposing a kind of individual property rights takes all mentality on, uh, on what for people, um, sir, in these parts of Auckland uh, uh, regard as important collective community assets. The urban forest is something that uh, provides enormous amenity and advantages for the whole community. But what National seeks to do with this bill is take away the powers that uh, councils have had to efficiently and effectively protect the forest by the use of general tree protection rules. And it's true, sir, that the, um, the, uh, there have been amendments to these provisions which will um, uh, make it somewhat easier for councils uh, to protect those bills. So, for example, a grove, a group, a line of trees can be protected but it still imposes on councils the requirement that they have to list every single section that they want to uh, uh, where there are trees that are to be protected. And it was the submission of councils that came before the select committee who said that this will effectively make it too arduous, too costly to the ratepayer uh, for councils to effectively protect all the trees they want to. And that is... After all, that is the intent of the national government on this issue. They do not want the individual rights of property owners, and particularly of property developers, who may want to bowl a line of Pahutukawa trees that may be getting in the way of their clifftop views uh, over on the North Shore. 
uh, where Andrew Williams comes from, or uh, Maggie Barry comes from there now too. Okay. Um, uh, or they may want to bowl um, a line of uh, native trees on a section in the Waitakere Ranges, uh, which would cause uh, instability, erosion, and could have a negative impact on uh, neighbouring properties. So, so this, the provisions in this bill are a triumph for the National Party's narrow property rights perspective over uh, the values that uh, members on this side of the House uh, also support, which are the collective and community assets, the quality of our communities, and particularly the ecological uh, asset that the coastal forest and that the urban forest represent, something that we hold dear and regard as important, important to safeguard for future generations. So um, this argument's been going on now for the last few years. In fact, I remember, uh, Mr Chairman, one of the first debates of the last parliament in uh, early 2009 when the uh, Honourable Nick Smith brought to this House rules that laid waste to general tree protection rules and were subsequently challenged and overturned in the Environment Court to a large extent. And the Environment Court decreed that it was OK for some of the Auckland councils to use general tree protection rules to protect the urban forest and, uh, and allowed those councils to circumvent Nick Smith's aspirations. Well, this bill really is Amy Adams's revenge on the Environment Court and, uh, and, and uh, one more attempt to uh, impose the triumph for private property rights over those of us who would like to protect the uh, urban forest and the coastal forest for future generations. And so it's just a shame that such an important part of, uh, of, of life in Auckland can be put at risk by such a, a, a narrow, uh, barren world view uh, that is represented by this bill, sir. I call the Honourable Mary Ann Street. Thank you, uh, Mr. Chairman, and I'm speaking.